To create the sand engine, a material was needed. And this material was taken from the seafloor uh, to relatively large depth. And they got two different geological layers. And that created um, a different type of material present at the sand engine in comparison to traditional nourishments that have um, less materials, so they needed to dig less deep. I did my research by taking samples of both sand and water at three different locations along the Dutch coast and analyzed them to see what kind of chemical properties they have. At nourishments in general, the chemistry is mainly changed compared to the original beach material because of source material and oxidation processes. That caused um, a high iron content to be present and a trace elements to be mobilized. With my research I expect to see a growth in fresh groundwater in the sand engine and the surrounding dunes because of the construction of the sand engine itself. To gather data on the sand engine we did it in several ways. One way is we uh, dug a borehole and installed the monitoring well. Another way is we did uh, geophysical measurements at the beach site so we get two-dimensional images of salinity in the groundwater. With my research I hope to show that uh, mega nourishments like the sand engine lead to a growth in fresh groundwater. So that might be interesting to combine coastal protections with the growth in fresh groundwater.